Heavy Metal Horns up to you. Uh, back with a request from Faces K from the Patreon. Weird band name, and I've never heard this band name before. Today we're doing a band called Do Scented. Um, Mother, I'm heading to the grocery store to get feminine products. Uh, do, do you have a specific flavor? Uh, do Scented, please. Uh, it's just the weirdest name, and I, I, I get the feeling these dudes are going to be heavy as all get out of town. Uh, but this is for Faces K. Uh, we're getting into the song Unconditional today by Do Scented. And I would love to hear the story behind that band name. How does one come up with that? These album covers uh, are, are insanity alone. So if you're in the record shop and you see that, you go, this is a metal band all the way. Let's learn about the band and then we're going to get into the song Unconditional from Do Scented. Uh, they have... Uh, 2,107 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top 5 Jammeronies. Cities of the Dead has 109,000 plays. Arise from Decay, 38,000 plays. Acts of Rage, 14,000 plays. Turn to Ash, 22,000 plays. Rituals of Time in the fifth slot has 26,000 plays. Tell me those, album, those song titles there don't tell you these guys are going to be heavy. Uh, now let's get into those albums and see what what's the in, what's the uh, what's the hubbub on that. I do believe this song is coming from an album called Inwards. Um, it looks as though um, they started in 1996. That's insane that I've never heard of this band. Uh, Immortel, 1996, and then 98 you got Innocence. You got Ill Natured, 1999. The album that we're taking the song Unconditional from, Inwards, comes out in 2002. You got Impact, 2003. Issues, 6, comes out in 2005. Uh, Incinerate, comes out in 2007. Invocation, you got Icarus. You got Insurgent Live, 2012. And Inter, uh, Intermination, Intermination, 2015. So that's it. They haven't released anything in quite some time there. Now we're going to get into related artists. This will take us down a rabbit hole, give us an idea of what uh, um, other artists they might have played shows with, they went on tour with, they're on the same kinds of playlists and stuff, stuff and such as do scented. You have uh, Impious, you got The Crown, Legion of the Damned, uh, Carnal Forge, have we mentioned that before? Uh, Hate Sphere, One Man Army and the Undead Quartet. Uh, Witchery, we've done them on a reaction video, I believe. Um, Defleshed, wow, that looks interesting. God Dethroned, yes, we've mentioned them before. Disbelief, uh, Evocation, and uh, Idle Disposed, Ill Disposed. It's hard to read that, it's all one word, Ill Disposed, yes. So there you have that, the related artists for the band. And now we're going to get into that bio, then we're going to listen to the dang song already, okay? And you got five gents here, and they're in a high, they're in some kind of a, I don't know, weird structure. They're standing in the middle of it. They've cornered someone. They say, give us your hand back. Um, but they say, Shane, you're a kick-ass dude, and uh, I'm surprised you never heard of Do Scented, but we're about to scent you up with some hard rockin' good times. Armed and dangerous, and with feet planted firmly in the soil on extreme metal's war-torn front line. Oh, wow. Do Scented have spent the last 23 years building a formidable reputation as die-hard standard bearers for thrash metal's uh, ongoing evolution. Originally formed in Walsrode, Northern Germany. Okay. Amid the vexed progress of the metal scene in the early 90s, this band's mission has always been to push brutality forward as they have consistently espoused a philosophy of intensity, precision, and the untamed power of the gleaming state-of-the-art riff. Zhugga, 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 zhugga. Perfect. This, they got a great big long bio here, but we're not going to read all that. I do appreciate them, though, for, the, for, the, for having it there. A lot of bands don't even put anything there. So now it is that time we're going to get into this for our pal Faces K. He wanted to hear the song Unconditional. He wanted me to check it out. By God, that's what we're going to do right here, right now. This is the tit. This is a special tool. It's an earbud. And I give you a taste. I take a taste. We listen to the song Unconditional from Do Scented right here, right now. Good? I'm sweating like a horse pig, and I'm just telling you that now. Um... But daddy needs to burn calories, okay? He doesn't need to be a fat person his entire life. He could be a chubby or a chunky person and not a, a fat person. Here we go. 
Let's do it. Time is a whip. I love those kinds of riffs. It's a crazy riff. Well, he's got a rawness to his vocal. That's great. New World Order. What doesn't give you makes you stronger. That's an art when you can have a growl like that and you can still understand what they're singing. Sounds creator like. Trying to get a pattern on that, it's weird. Guitar player's a formidable force. Very noodly. It's not all bar chords. Yeah, the timing is so awesome, but it's... That's great. It's off. It's like old Slayer. Oh, that's nice. Boy, this one fired off too. Yeah, they're very noodly. Uh, there's 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 some metal bands that can do, that can pull that off nicely when they when they do noodle fingers I call it noodle fingers um, uh, it's not just the big you know a lot of death metal bands and stuff will do just the the, the big chords and they might throw a or a squealy or whatever in it uh, and then there's these bands that can just noodle all over the guitar that heavy distortion on there. <laughs> And uh, these guys have it. I was surprised by that. I'm going to have to go listen to a hell of a lot more Dew Scented because I didn't know they existed. And uh, that was pretty dang tasty. So Faces K, well done. Here's your thumbs right now. How do you like that? Uh, most important part of my video, as always, is where you get in the comments below and you feed me all the information, fun nuggets, sweet treats, and delights about this band that I did not know existed. Good, great, fantastic Shane. I'm a massive fan of Dew Scented. And I'm about, about to tell you everything that you need to know about it. 
full dissertation on everything that they've ever done in their in their lives. Um, all-time favorite album and all-time favorite songs from this band, and have you seen them live? Who did they play those shows with? Um, and I would love to know what a live experience is like. How they doing? Are they still at it? Are, th are they thinking about putting a, a new album out? Are they thinking about getting back together? Are they broken up? Are they just on hiatus? What's going on with it? Or, not good, not great, shame. It was death metal. They, ha they had some good noodling. They had some good rocking in there, but they didn't, it didn't really set them apart from any other death metal, uh, thrashy death metal bands out there. So it was just not my cup of tea. Hard pass on this one, and I, I hope do Scented to uh, have great lives and, uh, and, and maybe get back together or do whatever they're going to do, and they write more music. I just won't be there to listen to it. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know, you fine and fantastic freaks. Uh, if you have a hard rock heavy metal special request, you know what to do. Hit those links in the description below or put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments and I see your request and I say hot potatoes, that is a good one. I'll hit it with the heart, tell you I'm going to do it for you. You coochie kill. You, you, you. Uh, that's all I got. Swinging in. Do scented.